Groundnut rosette disease is caused by a virus. When groundnut plants are affected by rosette disease, the leaves turn yellow with small patches of green and the plants can be stunted and bushy. Severely stunted plants, which are the result of early infection, may give no yield at all. This video describes how healthy groundnut plants become infected with rosette disease and gives information about what you can do to control the disease. The viruses that cause the disease are carried by small dark colored insects, a kind of aphid, which have picked up the virus when feeding on infected groundnut plants elsewhere. When aphids carrying the virus fly into a groundnut field, they land on the plants to feed and breed. When they feed, they insert a long proboscis, which is a kind of feeding tube, deep into a leaf, as you see here in this magnified view. But as the insect sucks up plant sap, the virus it is carrying in its saliva moves the other way into the leaf and spreads through the plant. The healthy plant then becomes infected with virus and develops the typical disease symptoms. There are several measures you can take to control rosette disease. To start with, you can try to prevent the disease from occurring by planting resistant varieties, by removing volunteer and diseased groundnut and weeds, by sowing early in the season when numbers of aphids are low, by sowing seed at the recommended density. A good density of plants means that the soil quickly becomes covered and there are few bare patches. Bare patches seem to help guide the aphids to find plants. Another useful measure is to intercrop with pigeon pea, maize or sorghum. Once you notice aphids or disease symptoms in the crop, you can apply an insecticide. Use preferably an extract from a pesticide plant such as neem or tephrosia to avoid harming natural enemies and keep risk to human health low. Seek advice on safe use of chemical pesticides, including safe storage, safe application and safe disposal.